Okay, so you're going to review on the Smart Q5 from mp4nation.net. Okay, so here it is. Compared to my T-Mobile Wing. Yeah, T-Mobile Wing is big. I see. Okay, screen. About the same. Screen does look better on the T-Mobile Wing, but then again, it writes all the way up. See the width? Bigger. Much shorter. And smaller screen. So let's get started. 300, 150. I got this Smart Q5 from mp4nation.net. And what I like, what, what I really like about Smart Q5 is I can listen to my music where I start off at. So let's say I'm going to music. A lot of people did make false comments. The music is actually good. So here you go. Turn up. Take the music a little longer to load than the video. And it's after two shutdowns. Oh, man. Okay. And by the way, the mouth does work. Okay. Let's see. Can I get that a little bit? It's hard to get, but yeah. yeah. So pause that. One thing about the Smart Q5 that is a big problem is you cannot open menus and listen and cannot open menus and play videos. I'm about to show you that. And since most of us never heard of that RVMB format, um, it's not really used. Just to let you know. Everything else works perfectly fine. Three GP even works. I'm not gonna really play that because yeah, it's just a lot of cursing in. So Please, Michelle. Video does load faster, I think. Depending on the video. So, the times the wheel vary. Okay. And, and you see it works. Now, here go another accessory I got with it. They have some trash in there, I think, for $7. The shipping on it was like, I forgot how much, but it was like. Just go ahead and buy. So, okay. So, I gotta find another battery. <laughs> okay. So, put it in here like this. All you do is put two AAA batteries in there, which I think is was bad at first until I realized, hey, look what's inside. So, that works. All you do is plug it in. And, that's it. Plug the USB drive. Say it. Okay, so that's the radio now. Here it is. Okay, so she's talking. You just turn on. You just turn on. I'm telling the truth. And turn it back down and turn off, and then. And there you go. So you go to option, you go to quit. And yeah, there you go. So video actually does play well. Next thing I get into is that USB drive. A lot of people really want to know. Uh, I've seen a lot of people ask me, how do you use the USB drive? That's how you do it. First, you click right here. You can click power button or go to start. I mean, a little start menu, whatever it's called. And go to preferences. I clicked the wrong one. I keep doing that. If you go to start menu, you click preferences and go to system settings. And enable. Now, right now, I already got it disabled. So, every time you turn it on for some reason, it's always going to be like this. So, you got to close the removable disk, which is going out, which is the information going out, and enable it. So you receive information coming in through USB drive. That's how I'm going to explain it. And then press X. Now, 4 gig data traveler. And by the way, RAS did update. It already came updated. So this is, I like that about the company. Can we update the software? Okay, so it's kind of hard to insert one hand. And this is a homemade 6 foot cable. <laughs> okay. So wait. Three seconds and then there it starts. 
and then it's just start preferences and go to oh system tools. Sorry about that. It's hard to find at first. Everybody who gets one is hard to find. Good way to remember this: go to media. Always look for media when you get to the dash, or you type in. Then there go the name of the device. I can see King's phone. And there you go. Got to click it solid or it will not open. I will make another video about Wi-Fi, but since I have Wi-Fi in my house, it doesn't work. And I'm using LTE. So let's say there you go. This is why I use the mod stuff. Firmware. So let's see what I can open. Um, here you go. I was trying to learn how to um, do that windmill, that b-board stuff. See that open. And this is converted from YouTube, everybody. And skip through it. It's choppy when you fast forward for some reason. But it's kind of hard to. Please. And. Here you go. Okay, so. Okay. So you see, things do work. The text is kind of. It's okay. Actually. Made mistake. Never used before. It's better than okay. Text it out. The um, keyboard is tiny menu. So you press X in. There you go. All right. So I'm gonna show you a few more things for X for the end of this review. All right. So let's say I want to change the brightness up. Oh, that's volume. Okay. Let's say I want to change the brightness up. Just easy tap. Use this. See how better it is see now? Or I can slide it all the way down. And it just fades. Instead of on my T Mobile Wing, which is really cool. Okay. Then after that, um if you go Wi Fi like I said. While that loads, I'm gonna turn the brightness back up. Okay. And no networks below, just make sure refresh. And no, still no networks available. And on the wing, it says there are no data con um, sessions active, meaning can't use anything. If Wi Fi is not active, try to go to do data. So, yeah, Wi Fi will be up next, and the games will. And by the way, pictures do look good up here. I will add that in another video. But YouTube only let 10 minutes, so this will be in my first review. Bye.